Hi Sagittarius, you need to know this right now for November the 9th through November the 10th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for November the 9th through November the 10th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Sagittarius for November the 9th through November the 10th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Sagittarius for November the 9th through November the 10th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Sagittarius. Sag, these are your cards, honey. So, Sag, you have the Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Sag, listen, you know, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration, or there's a third party. Clarify the three of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the three of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the three of pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that something is going on financially, maybe some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Now, Sag, it could be something going on financially here with work or business or some type of an agreement or a contract here. There's lack here. Sag, you can tell me that there was a breakup because someone had a third party. You can tell me that you guys broke up, but maybe you're willing to work on it or put in the work here. Sad, you have the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So sad, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Clarify the three of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the three of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the three of swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition, but you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition, or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius. Clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius. Clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. 
So Sag, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using this sword to sever. So Sag, listen, you can tell me that some type of truth and clarity has come out here, Sag, concerning a heartbreaking situation. You can tell me that some type of truth and clarity has come out here or something that was said that hurt your feelings here. You can tell me that you're using your intuition that maybe you need to use this sword to sever because of this heartbreaking situation. Now, Sage, like I said, it could be concerning finances here, work or business, but it could also be a relationship where you're discovering that maybe there's a third party. Sage, you have the two of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Sag, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. Clear by the two of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the two of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the two of swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the God. Ten of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down. Completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. Now, Sag, you can tell me that you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, 10s are endings, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Sag, I want to know if you're indecisive, using your intuition about making a decision to cut someone off yourself and you know this will hurt them, that you're cutting someone off because there's a third party that you have. Maybe you're wanting to break up with someone and go towards someone else. However, Sag, you can tell me that you're indecisive on what to do concerning this betrayal. You're using your intuition and needing to make a decision here. Or you're telling me that you're blocking them. You're not speaking to them over this betrayal here, this heartbreak here. Sag, you have the five of pentacles again. So like I said, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Clarify the five of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the five of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the five of pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So sad, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Sag could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on the solo search looking for something. Clarify the Hermit for Sagittarius. Clarify the Hermit for Sagittarius. Clarify the Hermit for Sagittarius. It is clarified with Eight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that this is all work or business, yes? 
You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. Now, Sag, listen, like I told you, this can be concerning work or business and your finances here, okay? And maybe you're thinking that maybe you need to confront this person, Sag. Sag, you can tell me that you're thinking long and hard about it. And maybe there was a confrontation and a breakup, but maybe you're wanting to work things out with this person or willing to work on it. Maybe you're just indecisive on what you want to do concerning some type of heartbreak and betrayal here. Sag, you have the three of wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. Clarify the three of wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the three of wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the three of wands for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the five of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. Now, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted with then or whether or not you should wait or whether or not you should just go to look and see what else is out there, expand, just get away, maybe even travel, get away from this person. Or Sag, you guys had this conflict, disagreement, argument, drama, or you're telling me that maybe you're waiting and debating on whether or not you should confront because maybe you feel like there's going to be some type of drama. Or you guys had this drama and now you're waiting to see what? You're waiting to make up your mind? If you're going to let this slide or not? Because I don't care how you sugarcoat it. If they did this to you and you're waiting and you're indecisive and using your intuition concerning making a decision and thinking about whether or not you want to work things out with this person then you're waiting to see whether or not you're going to let them slide. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Sag. Sag, this could also be work or business where you were expecting your ships or something to come in and it didn't and it caused some type of conflict here with work or business. And it says... Pretending, fake, living beyond means. What? Pretending, fake, living beyond means. I didn't say it. The card said it. And it also says plug, tune in, internet connected. Plug, tune in, internet connected. Okay. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Sag, you need to know this right now for November the 9th through November the 10th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.